Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam, here with my brief thoughts on Top Gun Maverick. Finally. This was directed by Joseph Kaczynski, who also directed Tron Legacy, Oblivion, and Only the Brave. Three movies that really deserve a lot more love than they get. And this is the sequel to Top Gun from 1986. You may have heard of it. Maverick is back, this time after a snafu with... Well, Maverick being Maverick, he is sent back to Top Gun as an instructor. As, well, there's a pretty big mission that has to happen, and, well, he has to train the next generation. One of them being the son of his former co-pilot, Goose. Rest in peace. Call sign Rooster, played by Miles Teller. I love the original Top Gun. I honestly... It's... I don't know what I was thinking not doing a review of it leading up to this, but I love the OG Top Gun. I watched it for the first time actually in 2019 at my luxury theater in Daytona Beach. They were showing it, and I was like, you know what? I've never seen it, so I'm going to see it. And just to, just to show how classic a movie this is, I told my mom that I had never seen it, and she pretty much like dragged me out of the house to go see it. point I'm trying to get at is... The movie is pretty famous, and honestly, some of the slander I've been seeing it against it on social media is quite frankly disrespectful, because the original Top Gun is awesome, and I will not hear any slander about it. But now there is a sequel, and going into it, I wasn't sure what story they would have been able to tell with a Top Gun sequel. I mean, it was pretty well closed off with the first one, but despite... Like, this movie like has been 36 years in the making, with time passing, and just COVID delaying it, and other things. We finally get the Top Gun sequel, and... The word perfect gets thrown around quite a bit. I don't like using it, especially in terms of movies. I mean, because all movies are subjective, we all like certain things, that's fine. But Top Gun Maverick is pretty much perfect. Like, The Northman needs to just move off to the side, because this is my number one favorite movie of the year so far. Obviously, the biggest talking point coming out of this is going to be the action sequences, and... Wow. They... <laughs> I, I can't explain how good they are, but just... Joseph Kaczynski really went above and beyond with these, and... And Kaczynski in his other movies has shown that he knows his way, like how to direct a shot and how to portray certain things. Like just watch Tron Legacy or Only the Brave if you want proof of that. But in this movie, they used real planes. It, it, in Tom Cruise's opening message at the beginning of my screening, real planes and real G's. And it shows. There was not a single second where I was just like, that's fake. Every single flying shot in this movie is so good. It's like, it's almost too good to be true, but it is. Tom Cruise is, well, Tom Cruise, the dude is hiding the fountain of youth and will not let us know where it is. I mean, the dude's almost 60 and he's still flying in actual, like, fighter pilot, in fighter jets. The dude's a national treasure. But quite honestly, Outside of the novelty of seeing a man that age still doing the craziest things you could imagine, his character is actually well fleshed out. And this script, it's with Christopher McQuarrie involved, so of course it's going to be like this. But there's a lot given to Maverick that I was not anticipating and was honestly refreshed that they included. There's a storyline between him and and Rooster that at first I was like, oh no, please don't do this. But again, it was handled very well. Speaking of Rooster, let's talk about Miles Teller because he's really good in here too. I understand that he's not everyone's cup of tea and I can kind of understand it, but I've loved the dude since Whiplash. I give him all the credit in the world for muscling through that awful Fantastic movie. And just whenever he's in something, I always try and go out of my way to see it. And he is just, he does a really good job. All the rest of the pilots are great here as well. Hangman, Phoenix, Bob, which, by the way, that's like the most uninteresting call sign ever. Is like, hey, my call sign's Bob. It's like, who drew the short straw on that one? But I was surprisingly invested 
in all of these pilots, and I wanted them to get onto the team to do the mission. I know they all couldn't be on the team, but I was, I was pulling for them, and that was something that I was not anticipating. Especially since I could recall most of their call signs by memory, so that's really cool. Jennifer Connelly is good in the movie as well. She's not in the movie super much, but I imagine that they had to have a Kelly McGillis-esque character as a romantic interest. And I mean, you could do far worse than Jennifer Connelly. She's a great actress. The rest of the cast is pretty loaded, too. You got John Hamm, you got Ed Harris in one scene, but it's always nice to see him. And just, everyone is just acting their butts off, and it's greatly appreciated. This is legit my favorite third act of any movie that I've seen all year, and I mean that without a shred of irony or sarcasm, because this has all been leading up to this one mission, and the mission does happen. But then something happens to where I'm like, wait, this should be the end of the movie, right? And, and at first I was like, is this going on too long? And no, it, it wasn't. The third act kind of kept going. And I wasn't even mad at that. It's both amazing. It's both funny and both tension filled, and it's so many things, and it's so good. And this being, well, I guess the term is legacy sequel now. There are definitely callbacks to Top Gun, not just in terms of characters making returns, hello Val Kilmer, but also in reenacting certain scenes like pretty much if you saw the original the playing with the boys scene there's a bit of a loose reenactment of that and honestly i wasn't even mad whenever this movie called something back it was done from a place of love and i couldn't have been happier i'm sure there was a temptation to portray maverick as like someone who just never really went anywhere and is like a loser now and well he never really went anywhere but he never really changed either, and that's awesome. I could talk about this movie for days and days and days and days, but I have a feeling that I'm going to be covering it with Jacob on our podcast, like the movie's coming up on Wednesday, and I want to save some time for that. But at the end of the day, if you're a super Top Gun fan and maybe you're debating on whether or not to see it, go and see it. Even if you've never seen Top Gun, go see Top Gun Maverick. It's one of those sequels where it's a sequel, but you can also watch it without the context of the original. It, it, it helps if you do know in certain places, but the movie does a good job of explaining it to you without condescending to you. This movie is an easy amazing, like probably the easiest of the full year. On Bananameter, I think I'm going to give this a full 100%. Like, it's one of those movies. And I saw the praise online, and I'm like, oh, come on, clearly it's not that good. And they were right, and I apologize for doubting, because this movie is going to be one of the best of the year by a country mile. But I'm sure I'm the last person to see this movie, so what did you all think of Top Gun Maverick? What was your favorite moment of the movie? Leave your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to read what you have to say about it. For me personally, one of my favorite moments outside of the third act was one scene between between Maverick and Iceman reuniting for one more time. I won't go beyond that, but it it hit me where I live. It was so well done, especially considering what we know about Val Kilmer and his bouts with cancer. It was all very well done. Let me know your favorite moment in the comments and. And if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and if you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to allow notifications. That way, when a new video drops, you'll be the first to know about it. My name is Ryan Cam, and I'll see you in the next one.